we could absolutely quadruple the number of drug agents that we have out there, and I don't know that it would be enough. Drug offenses at an all-time high in Tennessee. That's according to the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, which says it's struggling to keep up. TBI crime labs across the state are on track to receive nearly 34,000 drug cases this year, the majority involving marijuana and methamphetamine. As these cases grow, the TBI staff remains the same size. Tonight I spoke with the TBI about what resources they need and how they're working to assist law enforcement statewide with what they already have. Every year, law enforcement in Tennessee seizes more drugs than the year before. In 2019, meth and marijuana are the most common. Meth is our number two drug this year. I'm expecting that the rate we're going, that meth may be our number one drug next year. Heroin and fentanyl are the most deadly, with fentanyl often combined with other drugs. Most commonly, we see it mixed with heroin. Uh, we have seen it mixed with methamphetamine. We have seen it mixed with cocaine. We have not yet seen it mixed with marijuana that I'm aware of. On average, between 2005 and 2015, the TBI crime labs received about 22,000 drug cases a year statewide. That number has exploded. Uh, we're on path this year to receive almost 34,000 drug cases. That's a 50% increase without subsequent increases in resources or staff. That increase is putting a lot of pressure on the TBI to process more complicated cases faster and with fewer people. Our turnaround times for drug cases in general, uh, we're averaging about 30 weeks out of the Knoxville lab. And when new drugs come into play, like vaping THC or testing of a plant as hemp or marijuana, the resources don't increase. You're just taking away from one and you're redirecting or refocusing your resources to go combat the problems of today. The state has funded additional agents to the TBI, but staff says they could use a lot more to stay on top of drug cases. We could absolutely quadruple the number of drug agents that we have out there, and I don't know that it would be enough. The TBI says laws passed by the state to crack down on opioid pills have been helpful, but beating addiction is the key to cutting down on drug cases in Tennessee.